What trick did you learn from porn and it actually went well when attempting? Not only did I learn this from porn, but it saved my life. When I first started watching porn, I watched a video where a girl was talking about learning to deep throat by relaxing, opening your throat and focusing on your breathing. Well, at some point I choked while eating fettuccine and I started to panic because I was home alone, but then I remembered that porno and I applied it and managed to pull the noodle out of the back of my throat lol. Saw some vids of girls using a wand. They seemed to enjoy it. Suggested to my GF that we get one and try it. We did, and we did. The next purchase was a set of waterproof bed shields. Slapped her pussy with my cock as a joke. She fucking loved it. What is something people wrongly assume about you all the time? I'm introvert so when I go out and meet new people I don't talk so much. It got to my ears that people assume that I am arrogant. They can't get that you can be good looking and well dressed but having social anxiety. That I'm approachable and will want to talk to them. I just have one of those faces, unfortunately. I am an Asian guy with glasses. People assume I am bad at driving and good at math. I'm actually bad at both. That I'm an extrovert. I'm just really good at faking it and I actually find you exhausting. I'm 70 years old, look older, retired and walk 3x every day. People stop their cars assuming that I have dementia and am lost. I am so sorry for laughing, but you did brighten my morning a bit. What are the cons of not having kids? Lack of cheap unreliable labor. Well I'm in my 60s and I don't have kids. The downside is now I don't have any family, I'm the last one left. I'm having medical emergencies in my 40s and still need my 70 year old parents to bring and take me to appointments. No one to avenge your death. It can make you feel isolated from your peers, whether childless by choice or circumstance. Holidays are kinda depressing. I went to watch my nephews open gifts on Christmas morning then spent the rest of day changing exhaust manifold gaskets, oil change, and a tune-up on my truck just because I had nothing going on. You have fewer excuses to use to call off of work. Give an example. How weird are you really? I find the smell of my own crotch sweat calming. Slash. I ate some of my own amputated leg. I also live in Austin since that's a thing. My bed doesn't touch any wall. Edit. I guess I should clarify I am not rich. We hired a new guy at my job. I never talked to him, even when he said hi I just nodded at him. We work in a small company so we were always working together but I never talked to him. One day I drew him a picture of the cheddar goblin on a piece of wood and got my coworker to spray varnish on it so it would be preserved forever. I gave it to him and he just said one loud, ha. And that was that, he quit a few weeks later. What was the first major news story you remember as a kid? 9-11 Either you have a bad memory, or I've just realized I'm too old for Reddit. The Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster I saw it live at school because the teacher wanted to see the launch. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Probably the fall of the Berlin Wall. Sigh, oaf, moon landing. OJ trial. I remember watching Princess Diana's funeral. I was about six I think. I remember asking my dad, why is mom crying? It was because John Lennon got shot. 